Hello Cancer, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the week, sorry, your weekly reading for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. Alright, um... Thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. And if you want a personal reading, um, make sure you check in the description below. Email me and we can set something up. Also, I was thinking about using a new deck that's getting ready to come out by a um, person called named um, Christabel. If you guys can check that out, um, I'll leave her link in the description box below. So... To see if you guys like those cards. If you like them, I'll use them. If not, you know, I might use them anyway because they look pretty cool to me. All right, but make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. So something is getting ready to happen pretty quick. All right. She also has a link on YouTube if you guys want to check it out there. It shows a little bit of what the cards look like on there. So her name is Jessica Christabel or Christabel Jessica. Okay. Just type in both of them. It should pop right up. Alright, what's going on for Cancer, Cancer, Cancer? What's going on for Cancer for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017? Cancer. Cancer. Alright, Cancer. Alright, so this makes me feel like it's something either going on at work or something going on with your friends maybe your friends aren't your friends or maybe your friends or these people or your sisters or whatever they're trying to take you, protect you for something that that's not good for you i mean that is good for you but this just seemed like a negative way so oh okay so something happened all of a sudden and that's why they feel like they need to protect you okay oh yeah these are not your friends these people at work they are I mean, you're, it could. It, uh, sometimes this mean works to me, but this could be your just friends, your sisters. But somebody is not out for your best interest. Somebody is jealous. <laughs> cancer, cancer, cancer. Girls, people could go both ways. All right, so somebody is violating your personal space. Mm, they're overstepping their boundaries. Mm, and they just doing stuff you don't like. And they, you think it's by mistake, but it's purposely being done. Okay, so these people are offering you stuff and not giving it to you. So I feel like these people might be using you for what you have. Or this person. Or it could be vice versa. You could be using somebody or a group of people. But it's like... um Somebody just like running over you. You doing everything you need to do for them. But they are... Like, oh, I'll pay you back, or I'll put it back in the fridge, or whatever. I'm feeling like roommate kind of thing right now. Um, and they they won't do it. So they're using all your detergent. they wearing your clothes. they doing all kinds of stuff. And they like, ruining it. And they tend to pay you back, but they won't. And the reality is, is they taking all your stuff because they want to be you. And they're jealous. So they taking your stuff, and they tearing it up. And they trying to act like it's a mistake. But don't believe that. Mm -mm. Um, it seems here that they jealous of your relationship. They jealous that you got something that you love and that you care about and there's something care about you. You know what I'm saying? They jealous of that, so they just like running over all your stuff because they they jealous. Ugh. I say jealousy is a disease, man, because people sometimes they don't know that they being jealous or they just can't control it. And ain't nothing like that but a cold or something. There's nothing you can do about it but let it run its course. But these jealous people, man, I'm happy for everybody. You know, whatever they doing, if they doing what they want to do. All right, so there's some baggage connected to this situation. So, I'm feeling like this could be a brother's girlfriend or some kind of situation like this. This is just basically saying that you feel like you, for some reason, you feel like you need to let this person do that. But, no, they don't deserve that. All right. 
All right, so there's some secrets going on. Let's see what these secrets are about. Some kind of manipulation. Yeah, they making you feel like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I really didn't mean to do that. But yes, they did. They trying to make you feel like it's you, but it's them. Don't trust. Mm, okay. I ain't going to say nothing. All right, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Cancer, Cancer. Love reading July 31st through August 7th, 2017. Cancer, 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 Cancer. All right, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I read this straight out the book. Please let me know about those cards, guys. I really like them. You know, if y'all like them, we're going to get them. All right, Cancer, July 31st through August 17th. Coming out of heartbreak. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so just looking at these cards right here. This was your road dog when you was getting ran over. And now that you have somebody that care about you, and they still got people running them over. They, they're mad and they jealous. Mm, they mad at the money you got. They mad that you did you healing. They mad that this person is giving you money. And they they mad that you ain't got to fight no more. That you sitting looking pretty. You know what I'm saying? And they pissed off about all that because they still in the hole. You know, if you conduct yourself like a normal person, then, you know, I guess you can't even say that because if you it's just about the characters that you pick you know you got to switch up your characters if you don't want to be treated like a dog or a mess you know you, people only do what you to you as much as you let them you know all right so we got the page of coins is the first one and it says a time to pursue education learn new things a time of exploring new economic activities exciting news whether by letter or by words will come so basically um you're this is the relationship you start and y'all going somewhere y'all doing stuff y'all planning stuff this person contacts you all the time this person really likes you and they care about you you know what i'm saying and it's like they jealous of it and it's nothing else to say you know it took me a long time to learn that people don't need you to do something bad to them not to like you jealousy is crazy you know and it comes at all different times and all different forms. So we have the three swords and it says a broken heart. No, sorry. Emotional denial, lack of focus, direction, or a harsh self-criticism. Yeah, you feeling bad because your friend is you still going through that stuff, but you coming out of it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh my God, you know, I feel bad. I feel like I'm rubbing this in his or her face. But in reality, it's okay to be happy. You know, if they want to get happy, they should do like you and go get happy. All right. Okay, so we have the seven of staffs. Where is that? Where is that? Seven, seven, seven. All right, so stress, confusion, indecision, surrounding the indiscreet actions. Yeah, so you like thinking about what this person is doing to you. Like, oh my God, you know, what do I do? Do I just let this person do this? You know, I know she's this. You need to throw that kind heart out the window and realize this person is trying to sabotage your relationship and your life, okay? All right, so now we got the Queen of Cups in this upright. Cups, cups, cups. It says, indicates a person's situation where devotion and love are present. May indicate the presence of paranormal abilities. So, I feel like in this case, you feel, you might have, like, psychic abilities. You know that this, what this person doing, you know how they feeling, but you trying to, not to do that you want to uplift this person you want to make this person feel good to so she can or he can go find their uh love their self but in reality you know that this person you know they just gonna rad you down until they get you back in their place you know they're not ready to be happy you know you were ready you went and did it and don't let them stop you so that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Um other than that, thanks for like, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, and have a wonderful week.